what's up guys it's tuesday evening and here's what you missed over the weekend on friday night ann and i went to the dive-in movie at zumbizi bay all right give me one i'm i'm coming in ready? to join in it's super i'm coming to join You tried, that's all that matters. You went for it. The bow, the bow. It's fine. It happens. I'm sorry, Casey. It happens to the best of us. He asked, hi. Hi, Brad Zumbi. It's Friday night. We're going to see the movie. What movie, Ann? Lego Batman. Wait, I'm sorry. I can do that better. Go ahead. Lego Batman. Good. And that is all the footage I have from that night because we were at a water park and then it started raining. You don't want anything bad to have in my camera. They're also kind of weird about cameras at Zimbizi Bay, but it was a lot of fun. And lost the hula hoop competition, but hey man, she went for it. And I actually, um, I won a pen doing the thriller dance. We were happy there's no footage of that. Sunday, we wound up going to the Dublin Irish Festival. We saw cute ponies. Dudes playing the bagpipes. We made a wish on the wishing tree. I may or may not have wished for my favorite character on Game of Thrones to live forever. It's a pretty lofty goal. We got to see our friend Kate dance in her Irish dance group. Hey buddy. And then we saw this creepy ass Irish dancing puppet that has haunted my nightmares ever since and now I'm showing it to you so I'm not alone in the struggle. You're welcome. The most exciting thing about Monday was that Kenobi got a bath and he looked like this. Hey Bobby. <laughs> You okay? So right now, me and my humidity hair are on the way to Target because I saw that our Target actually has the mirror of Erised, like the, the nice wall one. Um, it said it was available on the website. It also said it was only like $20. So I'm gonna see if I can find that. I also think I'm gonna jet to Walmart too because I really want to try my hand at unboxing one of those Harry Potter mystery wands. We are on our way to do some Harry Potter shopping. Apparently I don't do that enough as it is already. a total bust and the Target website lied to me. I looked everywhere for this mirror and it was not there. I asked people that worked there. They had exactly zero clue what I was talking about. So yeah, I'm not leaving with the mirror. But that's okay. We're gonna go to Walmart and we are hopefully going to cut our losses with a mystery wand or two. Oh my god, you guys. Here's the part where I tell you I do not have mystery wands, even though Walmart did have them. They really didn't have that much else, that's why I didn't film it. I did not bring my wallet to the store and did not realize until I was going to check out. It was very embarrassing. I was rummaging through my giant backpack. I carry a lot of shit with me, so it took a minute. And I'm like, I, I swear I have it. It's like this teeny little, ugh. But yeah, I went to check out, I did have my wallet, and I looked at the guy and I was like, well, see you later. <laughs> this is just the universe telling me that those wands that I had were not the ones for me. So <laughs> I'm going to go back, not today, because it's getting late, um, so maybe tomorrow after work. So maybe it'll be like the prize at the end of a 12 hour shift, yeah? Oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, okay guys, it's actually Thursday, I did, pick these bad boys up on Wednesday morning and the intention was to open them Wednesday night but let me tell you what happened I had kind of a rough day and I kept hearing that these wands were getting harder and harder to find they were selling out places and the Walmart that I went to had a few so hi 
Hey, baby. I'm on the phone venting to Chad about my day. And I told him that I was thinking about, oh my gosh, Kenobi, you're so distracting. You're so cute. I told him I was thinking about getting another one. So he was like, why don't you go? Like, go get another one if they're not hard to find. Um, and so I went to Walmart and then my tire popped and my spare, <laughs> my spare wasn't worth the crap. So um, we had to call AAA. It was a Walmart and not that great a neighborhood. So Chad came and sat with me and we waited for about an hour and a half for AAA and got home a little after one in the morning. And by the end of that, I didn't give a shit about the ones to be honest with you. But today's another day and now I am excited. So I got two of these. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see on this side, all of the potential wands that you can get. I have a fair amount of Harry Potter wands, but I actually only have one on this list. I only have Luna's. So hopefully Luna's wand isn't in one of these two. I tried to feel for heavier ones. I felt like Luna's wand would not be so heavy. Well, it's not, I have one. It's not heavy at all. So that was kind of my strategy. My worry is that these are the same. I hope I don't have two of the same ones. It would make me super sad. I've been waiting so long for this. This has been so dramatic. I didn't have my wallet and then my tire busted. Oh, and I didn't even tell you. Um, so when my tire busted, that, that Walmart had already sold out. So that whole trip and me busting my tire and all that, it was nothing. It was useless. It was, it was pointless. Wednesday was such a day, you guys. Okay, let's open this up. The box is really cute. It's a little Harry Potter box. I'm hoping for Tonks. Did I tell you guys that? That's who I, I really want to get. Let's see who we're working with here. Ooh, we got Neville Longbottom. I love this. These wands feel pretty nice. They feel a little more toy-like than something you would get like Universal or the Noble Collection, but they're substantially cheaper. They're just a little more plasticky feeling, a little more like toy-like. Um, but yeah, for the price and the fun of the mystery, I like this very much. Then you do get a bookmark with it. So here we go. We got Neville. I really like the handle on his wand too. Check that out. All right, second box. I'm nervous. Please don't be Neville. Please don't be Neville. All right, here we go. I'm nervous. Ooh, we got Moldy Voldy. I can touch you now. Never gets old. So here we go, Voldemort's wand. Again, like it's a little more plasticky feeling than like the nicer, more expensive wands you would get, but I am not mad at this. Um, I'm happy I don't have Tonkses, but that's okay. Um, I might pick up a couple more if I can find them and unbox them maybe in my next weekly vlog if I'm lucky enough to find them. Yeah, not bad. I'm excited. I didn't get Luna and I got two different ones. So I'm happy, really. Th those were the only boxes that needed checked for me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this week's vlog here. I did wanna let you guys know there is an event going on with Freestyle Comics. This is a comic book publisher I work for. I run social media. It is at Comic Town in Columbus, Ohio. It's happening this Saturday, August 11th from 10 to 6 at Comic Town. We're trying to raise money. We're throwing one hell of a party. There's gonna be musical acts, all kinds of artists, cosplay games, like all so much fun stuff so if you guys are in the central ohio area please come check us out at comic town say hello lots and lots of fun things happening next week so stay tuned for that and i will see you guys in another video bye oh oh wait um I, here's how we're gonna close out actually i forgot i had this video um kenobi was being really funny and cute the other day and you know i'm obsessed with my cat so i'm going to end it on this like you know how sharks go into the tonic state this is what happens to my cat are you comfortable? <laughs> He's totally comfortable. <laughs> Look at you. It's like when you um, rub a shark's, was it their belly, and they go into the tonic state. <laughs> That's what's happening right now with Kenobi.